Heck yeah! Hello everyone, Camo here. So I wanted to show you guys something completely new, and I stumbled upon this game in Steam today, and part of me wants to take this game a little bit more seriously, because the music, the music is, is beautiful, and there's actually a story to it. I've been playing it a little bit so that when I did the Let's Play for you guys, I didn't look too stupid. I didn't want to look too much stupider than, than usual. But this is an extremely fast-paced platformer slash puzzle game. And there's also, like I said, a story with it. And you find out more about this girl. Now, I don't really want to ruin the story or anything for you guys, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to show you some of this intro area. So where do I go from here? So that you learn, you know, a little bit about what this... Uh, what this... what's going on. And then I'll show you guys a couple of levels. Uh, there's... this game is all over the place. It's difficult. The controls aren't necessarily really hard, but it's a lot of space control shift. <laughs> it, it's a hectic game, to say the least. Nope, nope, drop down. There we go. But, like I said, one of the biggest things that pulled me into this game almost immediately was the soundtrack. It is just downright gorgeous. Like that lady you meet at the bar, but with a little bit more... I don't know. I was gonna say dignity, but that's rude. <laughs> So yes, as you guys might figure from looking at the body that's laying there on the bed and the fact that, she, well, the, the, the ghost apparition thing that we're having right now, that's a little bit unique, but you could guess that she's been in a fight and this is all part of some futuristic recovery process that they have developed in the future. And that's just too cool because it, it the voice acting is great, the music has been great, the gameplay is very fluid. If I could ever figure out the controls, I can tell that they have the potential to be fluid. It's just me being stupid. Now here we go, guys. Prepare yourselves for the cool part. Yeah! Oh, yeah, running into walls. That is the cool part. Oh! It's... Oh, God, it's just too cool. I... When I was playing this earlier, trying to get better at it, you were trying. Run up a wall. Oh, there we go. All right. So, uh, oh no, I got. Uh, <laughs> I promise you guys, I, I I played this before, but it's just it's a super fast paced platforming puzzle game, and there's different ways to complete each level, and there's also multiple endings, which I thought was cool because it gives it some replayability if you're interested in ah crap. If you're interested in getting all of the endings. Well, luckily the checkpoint was right here. While we're all running, hold shift. Yep. Ugh. But later on, when you get into some of the later levels, there's differences in, obviously, the rank. And one of the differences is, like, to get A, you have to beat it in 50 seconds. To beat it in C, you have to beat it in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So it's just, like, the margin of difference in skill is absolutely... Oh, crap. Ugh. I don't need to kill you. No! I wonder if that's an ending. Don't kill, uh, don't kill opponents. Ooh! I didn't mean to go that high. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> But it's just so fluid. I don't don't hold my lack of skill against the game. The game is very well done, and it's by a group called uh, Coil Works. I've actually I've actually never heard of this company before. Coil Works. Dude, uh, jump, jump. There we go. All right, let's recover a little bit of energy this time. There we go. Nope. Nope. No. What are you doing? Ah! 
So getting used to the precision of each move is uh, <laughs> is something to get. Ah, I keep tapping shift. There we go. Okay, less dumb that time. Okay. So each of those little yellow things is obviously one of the boosters. And then you've also got... Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Tap shift and jump over. Okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Too cool. So that right there is pretty much how the level goes. And you can see your rank. And I did crap. Well, like, I guess I could have done worse. I could have done in this little area. So let's go on to the next level. I want to show you guys one more level because there's some story in here too. Alive after all, but barely. Reconstruction, repairs, integration. From inside this dream it seemed distant enough to be something I imagined. Those words bring it back into sharp focus. We were torn to pieces by an explosion that should never have happened. Caused by an enemy that shouldn't have been there. The weeks prior to all this, I had dreams about coming home. Both wonderful and horrifying. But it seems the dreams about combat are coming back, different from before. There is clarity in my goals and movements. I feel powerful and focused. I am alone. It's only inside this room that I worry about the others. Who else might have survived and what remains of them? Perhaps that's why it's so tempting to leave and enter the chaos outside. But is chaos all it is? What if there's a message in what I see when my mind isn't padded by these walls? So, as you can hear, just in that scene alone, the voice acting is great. There's passion in her voice. There's a story to this. And the soundtrack just has me sucked into this game just <laughs> it's been great no I don't I don't want to play a wall level I'm terrible with walls and uh, whoa those are, are those ramps oh well they're short walls I can deal with that a lot better I can deal with jumps and walls more than or jumps and jumps I can deal better with jumps there we go see look at that two minutes and 50 seconds to get C uh, 55 seconds for... <laughs> oh boy. No, 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 okay. We gotta run at more of an angle. There we go. Ah, it's like you have to figure out when, when are you supposed to hit shift, when are you supposed to tap it, when are you supposed to hit space. Oh boy. Just don't do any of what I just did. Oh, uh, damn it! Okay, I'm, I'm running at it in an angle. Oh, wait, whoops, I didn't mean to hit shift. I, I, okay, here we go. I keep wanting to take it to... No, no, keep running, keep running, keep running on the wall! No, no, no! Okay. It's... Oh, restart level? Oh, you only get so many tries. I ran all the tries out in the first wall. Go me. So, yes, I recommend this game. This game was a lot of fun. It has a great soundtrack. I can tell that there's a story to it. The voice acting is actually relatively compelling. And it's just fast paced, crazy fun for a freaking puzzle. It's also infuriating. <sighs> But I'm actually going to play this game a little bit off the camera and see if maybe I can get better and do another Let's Play for you down the line. But I just wanted to give you guys a glance at this game. It just came out not that long ago. I think it's 20 bucks, and it was 2.5 gig large. So, go check it out. It's over on Steam. See if you guys like it. Watch their trailer. See if it gives you a better idea if, if you like it. Don't let this gameplay ruin it for you. Trust me, don't let it ruin it for you. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed. Definitely leave your comments down in the comment section. Duh, what else would you leave it? In the meantime, you guys take care.